Hi guys, how we doing? So this is the second part of the seed collecting series. So the first uh, video I done was the eye stalk seed. And if you haven't seen that video yet, go and check it out. The link is up above at the moment on top of the screen. So this one is going to be the sea crown seed. Now, everyone thinks that the sea crown seed is at the end of the game. We can get it at the start of the game. So this seed location is very easy to find. So we start at the coral reef. So look at the aurora. There's my life pod. It's just basically look for the first coral reef, the coral tube, what is sticking out of the ocean. Now, I have got a sea moth here. So we jump in the sea moth. And we need to go in a northeast direction. So if you look at the aurora, we need to go to the front of the aurora. And just start heading down. You do not need an upgrade on your sea moth, but you do need the survival knife. So when you see this tower full of rocks with the uh, floaters, floaters, <laughs> the old floaters. We need to head a little bit further, going northeast. You see some more floating rocks and we need to go into this tunnel. So if you look back, we are only 362 meters away from the uh, life pod. So we go down into the hole. Hold on, <laughs> I've lost the hole. The hole was there, I mean, it, it's there. Go into the hole. And we start heading down. Be careful, you only can go down to 200 meters before you start taking damage. And there they are. So you jump out, you quickly swim down. Passing 200 meters. So grab your survival knife. Take your clipping. And that's all you need. So I do hope you found this video entertaining. And if you did, please give it a massive like. It does help me out on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? It is free and you can unsubscribe at any time. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.